Climate change has made life on Earth unpredictable. Freak weather events have seen an uptick in most parts of the world. A new report by the United Nations has further raised an alarm. UN reports suggest that extreme wildfires are here to stay and even multiply in the coming decades. The global body has warned of increasing global warming, has said that the governments all are ill-prepared for the death and destruction that climate change could bring in the near future. The report says that the number of extreme wildfires is expected to increase by 30% within the next 28 years. The heating of the planet is turning landscapes into tinder boxes. More extreme weather means stronger, hotter, drier winds that would further fan the flames. Wildfires are burning where they have always occurred. 2021 had been a catastrophic year of wildfires. It proved to be a disastrous one for the American West. Nearly 7.7 million acres of land in the United States was burned in 2021. By June last year, close to 29,000 wildfires had already ignited across the United States, roughly 4,000 more than average. The Mediterranean Basin became a wildfire spot with Turkey hit by its most intense blaze on record. The heat wave produced higher risk for further fires. Temperatures are even flaring up in unexpected places. They're drying peatlands and thawing permafrost. The Arctic, previously immune to fires, has seen a dramatic increase, including the so-called zombie fires that smolders underground throughout winter before bursting into flames. The human and economical cost to the weather events are also unprecedented. The fires raging since December in Argentina's Corrientes province have taken an enormous toll. Losses already have exceeded 233 million US dollars. Abera National Park has been destroyed and agricultural lands have been decimated. In China, intense rainfall and extreme weather have become the norm. Northern China witnessed historical levels of rain in October last year, leaving several provinces battered by floods. In July last year, heavy rainfall, deadly floods in central province of Henan killed more than 300 people in several dozen are still missing. People must be must learn and must be prepared to, to accept in a way and to live with fire, minimizing exposure. Uh, for example, um, uh, by, by choosing where they live, uh, how they build the houses, how they, uh, how they um, prepare the surroundings of the houses. So all these mitigation procedures are extremely important, both in terms of land management, forest management, uh, fire prevention in general, and also uh, from the community side, from, from, the, from the human side, uh, our communities are prepared to deal with fire in case fire happens. For years now, climate activists and experts have been calling for a rethink on how, the ta how to tackle the problem of climate change. They say the current government's response to freak weather incidents are not enough. Money is often being put in the wrong places. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.